What's up guys and welcome to the show. So I figured I'd do a movie review. I haven't done one in a really long time, but I figured I'd do a movie review on a movie I literally just seen called Extremely Wicked, uh, Shockingly Evil and Vile. Uh, it's basically a movie about uh, Ted Bundy, uh, uh, him getting caught and then him going through his uh, trial uh, various trials, uh, ultimately leading, ultimately leading to his conviction, uh, and then, uh, his execution and all that stuff, um, about, uh, his, you know, his family life at the time and, uh, different things like that. Uh, it stars Zac Efron and I must say off the bat, I didn't, th like my impressions going into this movie, I didn't think it would be that good. I was kind of like, I uh, don't think it's going to really be that great. Uh, don't know if I'll really like it. Usually I do like these movies on these like biopic, I guess you call them type movies on these serial killers and stuff. I find them to be pretty interesting. Usually I like these types of movies. But then I, I watched it and it was really good. It was surprisingly really good. I really liked it. Uh, I, I liked it a lot. I'd recommend it. I thought... Uh, Zac Efron did an amazing Ted Bundy. He really did uh, look a lot like uh, the actual Ted Bundy. Uh, he he did a really good job uh, acting like him, talking like him. His facial expressions a lot of times, um, especially in the courtroom, uh, were reminding me of Ted Bundy. They they actually were the same expressions of Ted Bundy would have. And he did a really great job uh, imitating the actual real Ted Bundy. I thought it was great. I thought the movie was great. I thought uh, instead of actually just doing like another like, you know, biopic uh, movie about all the murders and stuff like that, this was a nice refreshing thing because you don't really see these serial killer type movies uh, with this types of Basically, this type of setting. Usually, it's all about the, their murders and stuff like that. But this time, it was all about, you know, him getting caught and then him going to jail and, then, you know, the, the trials and stuff, him escaping and things like that. So, it was different. It was like a different take. And it was refreshing. It was it was really good. I, I definitely give it, a, like, um, a, a 10 out of 10. I, I would watch this movie, like, again and again. It was it was really that good. It was It was really, you know... Uh, you felt for him. I actually was like, you know, I even though you know the story of Ted Bundy and how it ends and stuff like that, you were rooting for him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was he was a really likable character in the film. You know, you found yourself rooting for him and rooting for, you know, the people in the film and everything like that. You, you took his side. Like, it was such a great movie. It was just really, really good. I would definitely recommend it. Like, the acting in this movie was was really really great um the way the movie was uh, the way the story in the movie was told was was really really good um especially the end uh, at the very very end of the movie i'm not gonna ruin anything for anybody but the very very end of the movie when the credits start rolling they actually show uh actual footage of uh ted bunny like interviews from ted bundy and uh him talking and interviews from his his wife and things like that and him like real uh clips from him in the court and stuff like that so i thought that was a really nice touch uh for them to actually do that and include that in the movie i thought that was a really nice touch and a really good idea for them to do but uh yeah all in all i definitely thought this movie was just really great uh, i thought it was really amazing a lot of things like because um i never seen uh the actual apparently this was the first ever uh which i knew it was the first ever uh televised uh you know court hearing uh, or whatever it's called uh court case uh, ever uh but i never seen it so it was kind of nice to uh see that portion of it like what went on in the courtroom what really put ted bundy away which apparently was the teeth marks for uh everybody and that's another thing they did they kind of did like interviews with the real jurors and they were like yeah it was the teeth marks that you know did it for me so on and so forth so it's kind of like man if they never had the teeth marks he probably would have gotten away with it but yeah all in all like i said uh it was a great movie definitely give it a 10 10 go check it out and don't forget to like i'm subscribe if you much and i'll check you in the next video guys